hello girly welcome or welcome back to my channel if you want to look like this i'm gonna show you how to do it so let's get into it okay so the first step to looking clean is actually not makeup it's hair and every time i think of like clean girl i instantly think about like bella hadid and like Gigi hadid and like all those little clean girlies and they're always wearing a high bun which i'm actually already wearing now but i thought i would give you a little mini tutorial i feel like when you have slick hair even with no makeup days it just looks so much better i actually have a olaplex hair mask in right now which is how i get my hair so slick it's usually my go-to hairstyle when i feel like i have to wash my hair and it's all greasy but that's the best time to do a slick bun i'm gonna show you how i achieve this look i like to gather all the hair to the top of my head try and keep like a middle part because you want it to still look like that model of judy look i just tie it into a pony okay now excuse my dead and curly hair but i learned this hack actually like two days ago on tiktok part your hair in two strands and then you almost like go to tie it in like a little bow like this thread it through and then and then you get your other little elastic and tie it up see and look at that okay so obviously with the clean girl look we want to achieve a super glowy dewy base I'm going to stick to mostly cream products, but skin prep is very important when you're trying to look like a clean girl. I'm going to go in with my Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Cream, and it's like clear, which is really weird, but I think it's mostly for sensitive skin types. I've got all on my face. For Christmas, I actually got a Mecca advent calendar, and in the advent calendar, I got this illuminating primer. I just got the mini version of it, but I really, really want to buy the full version because it's so good. Like, it literally makes your skin glow. Like, do you see that? I've been obsessed with MCO Beauty recently, which has them everyone, but especially when I'm wanting to look like a clean girl, I use the MCO Beauty Flawless Glow, and I just go all over my face. Then for a bit of extra bronze, I like to go in with my Emco Beauty Bronzing Drops. I just do three little drops across my face. And I'm going to spray my face to make it extra, extra glowy with my Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Which I'm pretty sure this is just water to be honest, but we're just going to ignore that because I still feel like it does something. Now I'm actually going to go in with my Beauty Blender instead of a brush. Also, if I look up and it looks like I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder because every time I watch back my YouTube videos, I'm like, where is this thing? But I'm looking in the viewfinder because I can't see myself otherwise. And if I look over there, I'm looking in the mirror. Now that we have a glowy base, it literally looks like I have nothing on, which technically you don't because you're not wearing any foundation or anything. But that's kind of the look we want. We don't want it to look like we have too much on our face. But I have the option between the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer or the Kosas Concealer. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the Kosas Concealer just because I feel like the coverage isn't really that great. But we're also going for more of a light coverage look anyways. I might use a little bit of a mixture of both. To blend your concealer right where your eye ends like upwards it just makes you look so much more awake and alive and i love it so if you struggle with your skin like me obviously you're not going to be able to fully cover it it's not a full coverage look but honestly sometimes that's better we're kind of going for more of a natural look anyways so you rock that acne girl skin texture is completely normal okay i'm going in with my Emco Beauty Instant Contour Cream Bronzer in shade Light Medium. I love this shit. I love it. I'm actually going to use a brush to blend this out because that's just my personal preference for contour. But honestly, you could get away with using a beauty blender. I just prefer to like really get in there. I think I've got way too much contour on. It's okay. You can never have enough. You can never be bronzy enough. Let me know what kind of videos you want me to do because obviously I'm also going to do stuff if I find ideas myself. And, um, I love my makeup videos. I love, love, love vlogging though. Like, I love it. I feel my life for me to look back on is just like the best feeling ever knowing that those videos are always going to be there for me to watch and just look back on what my life was like in certain periods but yeah like i said as my channel grows obviously things are going to change but i'm always going to be the same person and i just want you guys to know that but obviously i will have to adapt to the changes in my life when i keep growing 
Okay, so I'm just going over my contour and just blending it out so it's not like splotchy in any areas because that is the opposite of clean girl. Okay, so I'm actually going to go under my eyes and just set and make sure there's no creasing with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I love this powder. It's so underrated. I'm just going to lightly set underneath my eyes. Blush. I'm using my all-time favorite Rare Beauty in shade Happy. Shout out to Kodofa and Alex L because if you're a blonde with blue eyes, I know this is your shade. Argue with the wall because it is. I'm gonna put tiny, tiny dots. A little goes a long way with this blush and it's really easy to overdo it, so just be careful. Blending with my Beauty Blender. Using the Enco Beauty Silky Smooth Bronzer, I'm just gonna lightly go around the perimeter of my face and just bronze it up a little bit more. I'm just gonna use one of my little brushes to contour my nose and get it all snatched. I can't go a day without contouring my nose and even if it's a clean girl look, I'm still gonna contour, period. And just to give my nose that extra snatched look, I'm going to use my powder puff and my Fit Me powder and just like kind of reverse contour. But I literally just follow the shadows of my nose. Now for lashes, I am just going to curl and then use my telescoping mascara, which I literally can't live without. I literally got this eyelash curler from a $2 shop and I got it in Tokyo, Japan, fun fact, because I flew all the way to Japan and lost my lash curler and I could not have that. It was actually my birthday, the day I had a breakdown because I lost my lash curler. I ended up finding this one and it's the best one I've ever owned in my life. Now, to get that clean girl look, you don't want to make your lashes look all spidery and clumpy. That's not what we're going for. So when you're doing your mascara, try to like kind of rub in between your lashes to get the clumps out and make it as smooth as possible. It's okay if you get some on your lid. That happens. You can't really escape that, especially if you're trying to brush through your lashes. You're going to like hit the back of your lid. So don't worry about that because we will come back and clean it. Does anyone else have an eye that just like doesn't work with mascara? My left and my right eyelashes are two like completely different people and it really gets to me. Like my lashes on my left side are thicker than the ones on my right and I don't know how that works. Okay, and going in with my Enco Beauty Highlight and Glow Wand, go over the high points of my face the tiniest bit. Up to you but I like to blend mine in with my fingers to really just like work it into my skin because I feel like the brush sometimes it can like pick up other product that's already on your face and we don't want that. We don't want to look like what's the opposite of clean girl. Okay now instead of brushing my powder away I'm actually gonna tap it into my skin. Now for brows, we want to keep them super, super natural. So I'm just going to brush through mine. I'm using my Kylie Kai Brow Deep Brown Brow Pencil. I've kind of let my brows like grow out. So I don't really have to do too much when it comes to filling them in. I'm just going to go through the little gaps and anywhere that I feel like needs to be fixed. And to really get them like symmetrical as possible, I like to just like go in upward strokes and kind of mimic like brow hair. Really make them look as neat as possible. And to set them in place, I'm just using my Mecca Clear Brow Gel. I also got this in an advent calendar. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go in with my usual Kylie Lip Kit. I just literally line and overline my lips, obviously, because... She has no lips, how will she get a kiss? Then I'm going to use my Enco Beauty Hydrating Lip Oil, which has changed colors now because the amount of lip combos I've mixed with this gloss is actually disgusting. This used to be like, I'll insert a picture, but it did not look like this when I first bought it. I'm pretty sure this is really bad for your lashes, but I have to do this to feel complete. I like to let my mascara dry first, but then I like go over and recurl them just to like double check that they're gonna stay in place. Whoa. For some finishing touches, I'm going to use some Kylie Blush in shade Pink Power. 
And yeah, you guys, just like that, you have transformed into a clean girl. Thank you so much for watching. There's going to be videos coming out every Friday. Go follow me on all my socials to stay updated. I've been super active on Instagram recently and TikTok. Yeah, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, comment, give me video ideas, talk to me in the comments, whatever you want to do. Love you guys.